Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Madison. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means the world to me. So for today's video, of course, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing another wig review and I am so excited. A lot of you actually really enjoyed my last wig review and you all were so sweet. So I figured another one wouldn't hurt. So if you would like to see me review another wig, make sure that you just keep on watching. And remember, if you are not yet part of the family, to go subscribe down down below it is right next to my name also remember to put my post notifications on which is the bell button down below so you know whenever i upload and let's get into the video actually get into the video i just want to give a big shout out and thank you to diva trust for sending me this wig they were so sweet and reached out to me via email and they were so kind and generous to send me my own wig they let me pick out my own and i was like oh my god i'm gonna cry right now just wanted to let you all know that this video is sponsored by diva trust it is actually my first time ever getting anything from their website so obviously all of my opinions will be 100% true and I would never try to sell you anything that I believe is just not worthy of its price. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so let me get some scissors. I'm opening it. Okay, this is what looks like. Oh yeah, oh that's really good. It has a picture of the wig on the box, so. Oh, this is like the shipping label thing, I think. Yes, this is what it looks like so this is oh my god oh i thought my nail fell off so this is the packaging and this is the picture of the wig that i got except it's not in that color it's in a medium brown okay so this is what it looks like but i will just like put it somewhere on the screen for you for a better view of it okay so this is what it's called um it is called what is it this wig is called the Bobby Boss Hand Tied Swiss Lace Secret Lace in the style Valeria. And I got mine in medium brown just because I'm not bold enough to get a bold color yet. Okay. I'm so excited. Oh my God. So I'm just going to open the box. Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh, sorry. I should have showed you. Oh my God. So this is in the shade medium brown super cute oh my gosh so it has this little hairnet thing that oh every wig comes with so i'm just oh ah, my bracelet stuck to it so it says it's a natural custom plucked hairline which is really really nice so it's a lace front and i've never actually worn like an actual lace front Woo! do you see how clean and crisp that is this hairline is so freaking cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is actually like my really first lace front wig. I'm just gonna cut off the tag first. Okay, oh my god, she's so cute. I don't know what to name her. You know the um, Amazon wig that I made a review of? I named her Lucy because she reminds me of Silver Mist from Tinkerbell, but Silver Mist is actually like Lucy Lou. Lucy or Lucy Lou is actually Silver Mist, like the voice. Okay, you get it. But yeah, so that's Lucy. Now I have to think of who this girl's gonna be. She's cute. Oh my god, look at these curls. So voluminous, so soft. I'm literally running my fingers through this right now. <gasps> this is so cute. See how it just glides? Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cute. See, there's like this adjustable strap, and then there's the clips right here. And right there, which is really, really nice. You know, you don't want your wig falling off. At least I don't. <laughs> she is so cute. And she is lengthy, girl. Do you see this? That is long. I forgot how long it is. Let me look. Um, I don't think it says here, but I will put it somewhere on the screen of how long she is. By the way, you can customize the hairline, which is what I really, really love because I feel like a lot of wigs don't do that. So you're allowed to move like the parts and you can make it a side part or like a middle part. And that's, oh my God. I appreciate that feature so much because, you know, sometimes people don't want just a side part or just a middle part. You know what I mean? So I really appreciate that about this. Right now, I'm just going to put my wig cap on and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the best that I could do. 
I'm gonna put her on. You know, she kind of looks like an auburn a little bit when I put her like close to the window because there's a window right here. She looks kind of like an auburn. I'm kind of digging it. She's cute. Okay, so let me back up because this gonna get funky. I'm gonna flip her upside down and then, okay, and now I'm gonna put her on. Make sure she's all adjusted in the back. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna bring her to the front. Oh, this hair. Maybe this was a <laughs> maybe this was a bad idea to wear lip gloss because my hair is like sticking everywhere. This is how long the lace front is. It's really, really long. So that's really good though because. You know, the longer the better. So I'm just gonna cut. Cause it's starting to get like tight and I can't even see, so. Okay, let me make sure I know what I'm freaking doing. My wig cap is kind of like peeking through, so I'm gonna fix that really quick. Okay, so you know what? I realized that, you know, this is really see-through lace front. The lace front is really see-through, which is like a good thing because you know you don't want it to be like opaque. Is, does that make sense? Like you don't want the lace front to be opaque on your skin. I'm just taking some Fit Me powder and I'm gonna put it like on my wig cap to kind of you know blend it in a little bit. I'm like debating if I should like put foundation on my wig cap because it's kind of light okay i'm gonna do it period we could never be oh my god i love that song i've been obsessed with it lately it's called love by wale and bryson tiller it's so freaking good okay so i might regret doing this or i might not and then i'm gonna powder it with my brush this so the foundation stays on there. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it back down like this. Okay, I really gotta cut this lace front. So I just cut off a lot more lace and it's starting to look cute. <gasps> Dude, look at that freaking hairline. Oh my gosh. <gasps> This is cute. Okay, so I have like some gel, like hair gel in my bathroom. So I'm gonna go grab that really quick. I'm just gonna like use some of that and use it to try and stick it, stick the lace front down. Now that it's like not gonna move, I'm gonna go back in with some more and put it over like this. Just make sure it's really all melted into my skin and then i'm just gonna wait for that to dry up i know my hair looks a mess right now please trust the process i have a really good feeling about this <laughs> now i'm just gonna go back in with some foundation and go over the edges like this there is one side like combed through and then this side is not combed through so can you kind of see that difference i don't know i still have to kind of go over this one a little more but i can already tell like the biggest difference and it looks a lot better combed i love how i'm brushing through this and it's like really really soft like the curls aren't like being tangled here is what the wig looks like in the split section i think it's super freaking cute it feels so like nice and natural oh my god what if i went like a medium brown this wig was pretty actually kind of easy to like install this was actually my first time installing a lace front and you know don't judge me i know it's kind of crusty this is so cute i really like the split middle but i'm gonna try and put it on this side and see how it looks okay so here is the side part this is super cute i just added this little cheetah clip it's from forever 21. by the way i forgot to mention that this wig is synthetic but it literally feels like human hair like it is so soft and it doesn't even tangle even though it's curled which i love and it like stays and it you can style it like 
any part that you want and the curls still like maintain really pretty looking i really like the split hair and it looks so freaking bomb but i want to put like a hairline in the middle to make it look a little more natural i'm gonna grab this flat like shader concealer brush and then i'm gonna take my foundation I'm just gonna put a little bit on there. I'm gonna make like a line kind of going across to make it look like a natural hairline. And I'm just gonna place that in the middle. So I made it a little too wide. Now I look like I have a bald spot, but it's okay because we can fix it. So I'm just gonna take this um, brush and just like a color that looks like my hair shade. And I'm just gonna go over where I kind of went too far with that powder. And it already is looking a lot better. Personally, I feel like I would not have to pluck much just because they did a great job with the hairline. And there's even baby hairs back here that you can um, pluck as well. But I don't know how to lay my edges, so I'm not going to touch those. But this is the wig overall. I think it's super cute and it's so voluminous. I love it. And it feels really comfortable on the head. It wasn't like hard to put on or anything. Like I noticed this one just literally like cupped over my head. Does that make sense? Like it literally feels like it was made for my head. I didn't have to make any adjustments or anything. And yeah, the color is really, really pretty. I'm super glad that it's not like a really light brown. So their colors are definitely true to their colors online. This is in shade medium brown and it's super cute. I love it. It's nothing too over the top. It looks so natural. I would honestly wear this out and I feel like people like could not honestly even tell. I feel like the only reason that people could tell if it was fake is because it's so voluminous and like nobody ever has hair this voluminous. But it's like other than that, that's it because I feel like the hairline looks real and like I don't know everything just looks real it's not too shiny you can always fix that problem with dry shampoo or face powder so that's not really a big like factor to me personally so yeah that was the wig review i really hope that you all enjoyed it as much as i did i am so in love with this wig and i will definitely be posting about it on my instagram i will link all of their social medias down below again i would just like to thank diva chess for reaching out to me i truly appreciate it their wigs are so freaking high quality and cute i definitely would recommend you all to try them out I really want to buy some more wigs from their website, so if you see another wig review, mind your business. <laughs> we'll definitely link all of their social medias and their website in the description box below. I really hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet part of the family. I love you all so much, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!